Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, anyways, uh, to those who have done the three bowls, one soap video, or three bowl, three soaps, one bowl video challenge, um, great job, Nick. Really, really, really liked your choices. Um, Jill, you know, you did a great job as well. Um, Steve the Daily Shaver, I don't think he's posted one yet. Um, if he does, he does. If he don't, he don't. I think he said he was going to. So, anyways. Um, but, yeah. So, that went great. Um, there's something I want to show you guys real quick. I'm going to actually do a video on in the next video. And a good friend of ours, her friend, her, her husband is a professional gambler. And where he plays goes to, which is Pachanga Casino down in um, uh, Southern California. He goes ahead and he's always winning stuff, getting stuff. And he went ahead and gave me and my girlfriend each one of these. It's the Molten Brown London. And in it, it comes with... A disposable Schick razor. And a little thing of brushless shaving cream. So, one moment guys. So yeah, it comes with the soap and the little razor and, you know, I don't know if they sell these anywhere else, but, you know, I've been shaving my face with a double edge or single edge safety razors, or with double edge and single edge safety razors, a little bit with Chevette's, um, for since 2014, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a shave and see see how that works using you know good quality soap and brush and stuff and we'll see how it goes um i have start shaving my head once again with a with a disposables and uh you know it just um what can i say uh, sometimes safety razors bite the crap out of me on my head so you know do what i gotta do um to prevent blood loss, so to speak. So anyways, yeah, so let's take a look at what we're going to go ahead and do. The razor, since I've got almost a week's worth of growth going on, the razor is going to be a little bit more aggressive, and it is a vintage Apollo Slant. This is a three-piece razor. I really like the handle on it. Um, if you're used to the, one moment, like I was saying, the Apollo, if you're used to or have used the German 37 slant from Razor Rock, um, this is very close, very similar in the feel. Um, the handle's really cool, I like this handle. And the blade in it is a Vanderhagen blade on its second use. The brush will be my 24 millimeter plus soft razor rock synthetic brush. Nice, wonderful, soft bristles. Nice heavy duty acrylic handle. The soap will be sandalwood, which is the Parasso Red. So let's go ahead and let's get the brush wet and load it. Um, shaving with Rich, I believe he was tagged by Ken Surfs as well as me. So we'll start loading straight out of the pot. Um, so I imagine he'll probably be doing it soon. I don't know if he'll mention me. I know he'll definitely mention Ken because him and Ken are good friends. So, you know, so be it. If he doesn't mention me, that's fine. So, but I did enjoy the other two videos I watched. 
Unfortunately, I had to cut the one with Jill. I had to cut her short. I gotta get back to it. Add a little bit of water. It's been a while since I used this Parasso Red, so. Mm. Wait a minute. One moment, guys. But anyways, I think that's a pretty good load. Let's wet the face and get a shave in Gonna go ahead, wipe the excess off the outside of the pot. My son is in one of those four-year-old hyper moods today, so I might have to go ahead and take a break. I take breaks a little bit more than I'm used to. To speak with him. But, all part of parenthood, I guess. You might shoot in here. Might not, not sure yet. Yeah, this prasso. Not the world's greatest soap, but it gets the job done quite well. If you are a subscriber of Ken Surfs, he's having his 9,000 subscriber giveaway. And, uh, a couple of nice prizes. Saw somebody make a post here recently on Facebook. Um, about some guys and the way they lather and <laughs> making fun of people who, you know, have a thin lather with the green with the Apollo and it's cutting quite nice um, oops almost got my ear there but basically making fun of people on videos that does a thin you know does thin lathers um, Now, I didn't comment, but everybody's different. And, uh, if a person prefers a thin lather, then you know what? Let them do it. Um, 
the slant is just making very short work with everything. So, but uh, hey, if a uh, person does a thin lather, then I say, so be it, let them do so. Because, well, if the lather sucks and they have a rough shape, then, you know, they'll learn. But if they get good shapes, then hey, so be it. There we go. Anyhow, first pass, that slant took big majority of it off so I might just be able to get away with the two pass shave we'll see um, slants seem to just really mow down my growth really quick and um, you know so I usually don't have to do more than a two pass shave with a slant because they are, for me, there's very, very efficient razors. Um, I've only got two slants, I definitely want more. I want to get the 37 and the 39C. But, um, anyways, we were out of town, we were at my father in law's memorial service. Absolutely beautiful service. Um, he believed. He believed that he told his his pastor and his past in in the pastor and the pastor's wife, which he lived with. They bought into his home. He told them one time that when I die. Just have my service at here at the house. Um, Cause he figured only a few people would show. Oh boy was he wrong. Um, there was over a hundred people there. people there were people from Salvation Army there because every year he rang the bell uh, at Christmas around Christmas time so people from AA because he was 50 hang on honey how many years was your dad sober come back in Anyways, um, he was 56 years sober, and, um, so, he had people from AA there, it was a beautiful service, very nice, um, so, <laughs> yeah, they would have done it in their house, um, it would not have worked out. So. And me. I. Decided to. I broke my. Hiatus from Facebook. Kind of early. And. Uh, went back to it. And, um, boy, was that a mistake. Um, there's a lot of good people on my friends list on Facebook. Um, 
but the political stuff and drama don't get me wrong there's some great people wonderful groups on Facebook that I'm friends with or part of but <laughs> basically compared Facebook to the place you go to watch cyber paint dry so to speak anyways so yeah Probably not going to be going back to Facebook anytime soon, if at all, because I'm just done with the drama, done with the negativity, and it's just, I don't know, I just I don't get much enjoyment out of Facebook these days anymore, so even after a break. Anyways, so that was a beautiful shave. I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and stop the video. Shave the head, shave the dome, and I'll be back for the post. See y'all in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back. And that was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful shave. Um, that slant took down nearly a week's worth of growth in two passes, one with, one against. Um, very happy, cheeks, baby butt, lip, close to, I gotta come, well, yeah, it's as baby butt as it's gonna get. Chin, great, corners of the mouth, wonderful. Um, neck, absolutely beautiful, no complaints there. The disposable, I know, I know it's a disposable, but the disposable, which is kind of like a Mach 3, um, did a great job on my head. I got a little bit right there I missed. So, here we go. Don't, don't, don't scream at me, guys. And a little bit right there. Dang it. But, so, anyways, that did great. Um, did my first pass on my head, because I do go this way, and then lather up and go this way. So, the first pass was with the slant, took the majority of it off, and that just cleaned up the rest, coming back this way. So, yeah, it worked out great. So, let's go ahead and let's do the post shave, shall we? Oh, the brush. Um, Razor Rock 24 millimeter plus soft, beautiful brush, um, synthetic. I mean, it worked like a champ. The um, Ferrasso Red, it's been a while since I used it. It's not got the greatest of post shaves, but it ain't bad. No complaints there. If you're just getting into this hobby, Ferrasso isn't a bad way to start. Um, and it's sandalwood, a little earthy, a little muddy, some might say, but I like it. Um, and the Vanderhagen blade, I just have those Vanderhagen blades because needed blades out of town, went to CVS, and that's what they had. Um, my brother-in-law, he forgot his, his, uh, didn't bring a razor, he needed shave for the memorial service. So we went ahead and I had a knack with me, my 67 American knack. And uh, so he used that, shave his face. And then, uh, you know, so I needed extra blades because I just had the one blade with me and I definitely wasn't going to use a blade that had just shaved another man's face. So. Had that, so 
let him slap on a little bit of witch hazel, a little bit of Planade club in, so he was feeling good after the shade. So. And my last shave was with the a Vanderhagen blade, or with this Vanderhagen blade. So that's that. Nivea for sensitive skin, aftershave balm. And now for the aftershave, which I end up picking up down there too. Um, it's not a full size bottle, but it's ice, uh, aqua velva, ice blue aqua velva. Give it a little bit more of a shake. I love this stuff. It's got a burn, but I like it. Not bad. Not bad on the noggin. Not bad on the face either. That was a great shave. Anyways, so I hope you all enjoyed the shave. Thank you for joining me. Um, and uh, thanks guys for those of you who played on the tag video. I appreciate it. And um anyways uh, if you want to watch paint dry go to Facebook but um or cyber paint dry go to Facebook. Anyways that's the shave I'm done. I'm out of here. I hope you all have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. So I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.